remember we were just Googling churches and we had tried a couple of different churches in this area. When we drove by, I knew it was the old Redners. The first Sunday we came, we didn't, weren't really expecting anything. We kind of had that kind of big church, right, where we'll keep an arm's distance. I remember when we came in, we really felt very welcomed by the people that we had met here. The growth groups, I think, were a big factor for us kind of staying here and kind of planting roots. You know, we've been a part of several growth groups now and having that deeper relationship with several different couples within the church is something very meaningful rather than just showing up and being another number. Good morning and welcome to Encounter Church. This is your Connect card. If you're a regular attender or a member here at Encounter Church, you can just give your name and email address and any information that may have changed. If this is your first time with us, I'd like to ask you to share as much information as you feel comfortable sharing. And be sure to mark the box on the side that says first or second time guest. We believe God has a next step for you to take today. And we want to partner with you in prayer and support of those next steps. So hang on to that Connect card and we'll collect them during the offering. I've been involved with the prayer ministry probably for five years. I'm impressed with what we have in place already. We have solid, dedicated, committed people who give of their time and their energy to pray over the church and over people. We have a group that comes in and walks through the church and prays over the rooms and prays about the activities that go on in those rooms. That We take all of the prayer requests that are on the Connect cards and anything that would be called into the office through the week, and we compile them into an email. And that is mailed out every week to over 100 people. You're getting that unity in prayer. You're getting that praying in agreement. You're getting that where two or more are gathered together. But God calls all of us to pray, and we have people that are doing just that. We have people that are obedient to that. It's announced every week that if you need prayer, you can go over to the corner behind the banner, and people do. People do take advantage of that. They have the gift of compassion, they have the gift of mercy, and they, they truly care about what is burdening somebody else. And so the intercessor becomes very compassionate and very non-judgmental because they see the handiwork of the Holy Spirit. The prayers go out, the prayers are lifted up, and there's action. He uses intercessors to accomplish that. Satan is never happy about somebody spending any amount of time in prayer with God, let alone intimate prayer with God, let alone anybody being used by God to move mountains. What a great God we serve. He doesn't just let us to be tossed to and fro by the enemy. The enemy doesn't have any power over any of us unless we give it to him. And intercessors come up against the enemy all the time. For somebody that's confused about the intercessory gifting, the Israelites prayed. We all were called to pray. The Israelites prayed all the time but Moses interceded. And so that's really the stark difference between us always being called to be in prayer and supplication and somebody who God uses as, as an intercessor. I have been praying for a really long time, we're, we're, we're talking years, for God to reveal who in this church body has that type of gifting, who he's calling into that type of gifting. I believe they're already here. I believe that there's intercessors sitting in our congregation that either don't know that they have the intercessory gift, they just know that they just pray according to how God would have them pray, or they do realize that they pray a bit differently, but they're not really sure how to connect that with somebody else, or what are they supposed to do with that? So they just stay in their prayer closet, and that's fine, because God has used them all that time. But I believe that we are now in the season where God is calling a prayer team. And I believe it's because of the way he has anointed this church and what we're coming into. I believe that we're going to have people walking through this door more than ever before that don't know Jesus. We're going to need to minister to those people. We're going to need to pray for those people. We're going to need to be able to hear from God what those people need and how we can 
and get them to understand who Jesus is. God has people in mind. He's already put the seeds in their heart. So if you've been able to resonate with anything that I've shared, God's probably speaking to you. Everybody has to take that first step and you have to be willing to embrace what God's calling you to. Really think about how it would impact your walk with God and with Jesus and how it would impact this church. March 11th, we're going to have a meeting for anybody that feels that they may be, by God, being called into this ministry. How you can plug into this, how it would impact your life and the congregation's life. We're just gonna see what God's gonna do. And believe me, it's, it's always more than what we can imagine.